I sold some stuff. For some reason, when buying more um, injury kits and health poultices, they aren't stacking with ones that are already in my inventory. So, um, I have... Oh, they have done now. So I'm down to only 48 things carried, but I also bought a backpack upgrade, so it's 48 out of 90. Which gives me a bit more to work with. Uh, I've also bought a new longsword for Alistair. His warden's longsword was a bit weaker. Than a regular longsword. So I'm just gonna sell you that. Too. I'm sure you need supplies after that. Um because he doesn't actually need it anymore. Um Great Sword will be more useful for well, not Alistair, because he's a sword and board fighter. Uh oh I'm surprised cheese knife, I don't even know what that's about. To be honest. Right. It's it's a dagger. What's what's a dagger with some arm penetration? Um, but hey. So there's some stuff for me to also give to some people. It is begun. Back at camp. Lely's skills are all in archery, right. though. How will you end it? Bloody hell! Can I get into camp without you ambushing me with questions? Um. <laughs> don't we just ask the Dark Swan to please leave? Um. Uh. Fight the Archdemon. Is that all? It is surrounded by an ocean of Dark Spawn. How will you reach it? If you reach it, how will you slay it? You say you are a Grey Warden. I have heard stories of this order. Where'd Rick go? The answer to where'd Rick go is suddenly um, the source for the game has come back on again and that was over the webcam. It just came back. It's back. Yay. So, what have you heard? Great strategists and peerless warriors. That is what we hear of the Wardens. So far, I am not impressed. Not here to impress you? Evidently not. It remains only to see what you are here for. And he approves of this conversation. Okay. Stem. What have you got? You've got a great sword. Well, that was a waste of time me getting that. I just thought, thought oh, that's got good stats. Um, you've currently got a large chip spirit crystal, which gives you better spirit resistance. Um, converts all damage to fire damage. Um, what's the least resistance type? Um, nature will probably cover more. Large chip fire crystal, large chip lightning crystal, large chip nature crystal. Uh, we seem to be attacked with fire more often. Okay. Gib gifts. Okay. What gifts are good for whom? Here Have a remarkable greenstone. Ooh, shiny. Alistair. Uh, don't have any specific cue. Or every animal win. I know we've done this before. Uh, okay. Barry War Harness. 
is just all round better than what you're currently wearing. You're currently equipped against electricity. Um, I think against physical makes more sense. Grimoire, Morrigan. What? You found Flemeth's Grimoire? Ever since we discovered the condition of the Mage's Tower, I had wondered if it might be recoverable. But I had yet to speak of it to you. How fortunate that you found it on your own. You have my thanks. I will begin study of the tome immediately. Welcome. I do not intend to squander this opportunity to learn more than Flemeth wished me to know. <laughs> this should be interesting. Like your style. Now, let's back to gift giving. And it's a knickknack, paddywhack, give a dog a bone. He can't like me any more than he already does. But, you know. Um, silver chain. Not specific for anyone. So you don't have a belt equipped. I don't have a belt to give you in hindsight. Uh, you don't have a helmet equipped. I don't have a helmet to give you either. Never mind. Chains also for Morgan. I am grateful. It is thoughtful indeed. Small gold bar. That strikes me as a... Most likely shale thing. But I don't know. Gold bar for future men. Morrigan's critical eye has not preserved some of others, knowing or not she has some fondness for jewellery and is very particular about her appearance. Yeah. Irving. Irving spies and plans to rebuild what he can. Liliana. More to Liliana than an apparent at Mothering. She spent much of her life as a bard and all lay. Minstrel, assassin, and spy employed by the nobles of Val Royale. Adding a bit of malfunctioning goal of the menagerie of companions. Um, win. Uh, didn't I find a painting in the tower? I don't think I did. Let's speak to Sandal. Enchantment? It's simple Enchantment. to the point. Okay, um, I can only enchant Olaf's prized cheese knife. Why? And if there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. Just want to see you. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Uh, just... Get loads of them. 
and do some crafting. Uh, I don't have to put the help for this. I do the Lumium version. Lovely. Uh, Alright. Boxes on the info box. Ah, right there. Got you. Can't remember where else I've seen anything similar to that. Right. right. Alastair. Hello. What do you need? Um. Ask away. Anything you to say? Um. I think I've actually spoken to him about all that. The stars are out. Still beauty to be found in this world. It comforts me to know that the stars will remain untouched by the blight. That whatever happens down here, they will shine eternally. Their light undimmed. There is a story about that cluster of stars over there. Do you know it? Elindra and her soldier? Looks like a light fitment to me. Fairly simple equilateral triangular constellation. Uh go on, tell me. A long time ago, there lived a fair maiden called Elindra. She had many suitors, but spurned them all for she did not love them. One day, Elindra was sitting by her window in her father's castle, singing and dreaming when her lovely voice caught the attention of a young soldier. Entranced by her song, the soldier drew near to Elindra's window. As their eyes met, he fell in love with her and she with him. When Elindra told her father about the man she had chosen, he was furious, for Elindra was high-born, but her love nothing more than a common soldier. To keep them apart, he had Elindra imprisoned in the highest tower of his castle and sent her soldier to the wars. Alas, not a month had passed before news of the soldier's death reached Elindra. Alone in her tower, Elindra wept for her love and beseeched the gods to deliver her from this cruel world. So earnest was her plea that the gods themselves were moved. They gathered Elindra into their arms and lifted her high into the heavens, where she became a star. The gods also raised up the soul of Elindra's soldier love, and there he dwells, across the horizon from her. The band of stars between them is a river of Elindra's tears, cried for her lost love. They say that when Elindra has cried enough, she will be able to cross the river to be reunited with her soldier. Hmm. What I wanted to say is that starts off sounding like a folk song and ends up like a Greek legend, but I'll say it's a beautiful story. This story is one of my favorites. A tale of a love so great and so enduring that it defies death and moves the gods to action. Sometimes I ask myself, does such a love exist? Can it exist? If we lose hope in love, then we are truly lost. I never expected you to say that. It is a pleasant surprise. You honestly didn't think the Greek legend bit, Rach. There's a fair bit of weirdness in the stars in Greek legend. Why is it a surprise? I have to say there is a certain severity to you. <coughs> Finding a person behind it <coughs> all is nice. Maybe you should let your softer side show more often. Sometimes 
Following your heart, not your head, leads you to remarkable places. When? Oh, it's been a long day. Rest. Rest would be welcome. You all right? Yes, yes, of course. I am just a little weary. As you may have noticed, I'm no spring chicken. <laughs> no, you're a person. Do I look like Alistair? Sprite the your age, though. Thank you. You're very kind to say so. But in all honesty, I do not know how many years I have left in me. I have lived for such a long time. But there is always something else to do. And I have to keep going in order to do it. I think I will be glad when I am done. <laughs> not that has to be done quite yet. Oh, no. I'm not the sort of person that leaves things unfinished. I'll see this through, I promise. Emissary Pether. How long have you been there, then? The Circle of Magi stands ready to assist, Grey Warden, ah. as do the Templars of the Chantry. They all work together? The sincerity of your cause has drawn them together under a common banner. It would not have happened otherwise. Is he tranquil? He sounds very tranquil. It is quite hard to distinguish tranquil from bad voice acting, though. So it could go either way. Ah, uh, right. What else needs doing? Um. I think just head to Redcliffe for now. Um, and who do I want to bring with me? Well, it's Redcliffe, so I'll bring Alistair. Yes. Um, Um, I have no idea what could happen, but it could easily be magical, therefore I want to bring Wynne. Yes. Also, she's... Okay. And who else? And I think Liliana, because... Indeed. I'm used to working with her, and usually the best in character interactions come from her. So let's go to Redcliffe Castle. Or get, you know, ambushed along the way there. I've made it quite a way so far. All the way without being killed! I bring word, sire. There are demands from the Banorn that you step down from the Regency. They are said to be gathering their forces, as are your allies. It appears it will be civil war after all, despite the Darkspawn. Pity. I also have an interesting report. There seem to be Grey Wardens who survived Ostagar. How, I don't know. But they will act against you. I have arranged for a... a solution. With your leave. The Antivan Crows send their regards. An assassin? Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> <laughs> and the most expensive. 
Just get it done. Well. New codex for him. Prince of Inter Imperium, Rebellion, and the Free Marches is the nation of Antiba. Although it possesses few resources of its own, its location makes it a centre for trade in the north, and the capital, Antiba City, is the wealthiest in the world. Antiba has virtually no army, the monarchy is too weak to support one. Most Antibans would be hard pressed even to name the current king, as the true power lies in the hands of a dozen merchant princes, each with a personal army, and each locked in a constant struggle of power against all the others. Anyone would think then that Antiba would be right target for an invasion by one of her neighbours. But even Canari leave Antiba alone, for one very good reason, the House of Crows, the most efficient, most feared, and most expensive of the old assassins in the world, calls Antiba their home, and the reputation alone defends the borders. Well, that's good. As you say. Uh, okay. She just told me there's a distinctive looking tree. There's a health poultice in a barrel. There's an injury in a barrel. anything with the tree unremarkable at this time okay there's still bones here still bones ah don't go tree So it's not here that Alvester's ambulant is then. Okay. begun preparations for the ritual. We can start any time. Couldn't preparations have involved sweeping some of the bones away? I mean, congratulations on managing to get the guards to decay so quickly so that all that's left to clear away is bones, but... <sighs> any last minute advice? It truly depends on the manner of demon. It sounds like a spirit of greed and desire, one of the more powerful in the hierarchy. It will likely engage you in dialogue and tempt you with an offer. Avoid it. Making deals with demons never turns out well. Yeah, no shit. Only one person? Yes. We haven't sufficient lyrium at present to send more than one mage into the Fade. Okay, let's do this. I'm glad we decided to take this route. This is really the best option. Very well. I assume you are going into the Fade. Or did you have someone else in mind? I can send Morrigan. She's not even here. Now I'll go. Good. Let us get the ritual underway then. Because thanks to my last time in the fade, I have several levels on them. Um, what was that? 
that you come? Come out! I can hear you! I'm coming! Um... Is anyone out there? Hello! Father! Where are you? This is goddamn weird. I don't understand. It's so cold. I want to go home. Hey, you there? Have you seen my son? I can I can hear him, but I cannot find him. This blasted fog has me turning in circles. Uh, demons trapped you in here. It's the fade. What? I don't understand. Is Connor here or not? I hope so. I'll find a way to save you. Then leave me to find my son. Connor! Where are you? Speak to me, lad! Uh, I don't have my ability to transform in this I shall fade. do it. This won't go optimally. I take it uh, I should have sent someone else for it to go optimally. Hello, Connor. Who are you? Are you the one that made father ill? Tell me now. It's the demon. Tell me where it no. is. No! You're here to hurt father. I know it. I won't let you. That's the game crashing. I'll be back in a sec. <laughs>